Um, I'm Kevin, I'm Nick's best man, and this might surprise some people as well, I actually knew Veronica before I knew Nick. Um, Vera was really like a sister to Annette and I. So we had some suspicions, as you normally do when you care about someone so much and they're considering bringing somebody into their life in a serious, committed relationship. And shortly after just a brief handshake, hey, how you doing, you're Nick, okay, great, you're Nick, all right. Um, we had a celebration for my birthday, actually, in San Diego with a big group of our friends, a bunch of close friends, and um, Nick didn't make the cut. He, uh, he, he wasn't invited. <laughs> it was uh, nothing against Nick, really nothing against Nick. Seemed like a great guy. We're just really kind of unsure of where their relationship would go. It was in the early stages. So <clears throat> we're down in San Diego, we're having a great time with a group of friends, living it up. And lo and behold, guess who shows up? Nick, uninvited. <laughs> but uh, to be honest with you, that was a big turning point in my mind. I saw that this guy came out of his way to come down and just really see Veronica for a short period of time to say goodnight, give her a kiss, and show her how much she really meant to her, um, him. And to me, I saw the way Veronica lit up when he showed up and surprised her. She was glowing. And I don't think that glow and that smile has ever faded away since they've known one another. And I knew that Veronica really meant something special to Nick. went on, I really got a chance to know Nick on a more personal level. And I think to both of our surprise, we hit it off immediately. Nick and I, we often talk about our goals in life. He has told me that it always came back to his family and most of all, his love for Veronica. I can say with full confidence that you have a great man. Thank you for choosing this guy. and. Selfishly, it means a lot to me. <laughs> and I cannot think of any two people who deserve each other's love more than you two sitting here before us today. I cannot wait to have a front row seat, and I love you both. This day is finally here. It is an absolute honor to be Veronica's maid of honor because I consider Veronica one of my soulmates. And what I mean by that is that there are a handful of people you meet in your life where you remember that exact moment and you just know this person is going to be incredibly important. And that's exactly what I felt with Veronica 11 years ago. You are one of the most driven, loving, and fiercely loyal human beings I know. You are deeply compassionate. You've always had my back, even when I'm wrong. You've picked me up from some of my lowest moments in life, and you've definitely given me your fair share of tough love. 
I am so grateful that you consider me one of your closest friends. One of the things I really appreciate about you is that you are very clear in knowing what you want out of life and you pursue those goals with the passion that sometimes errs on the side of stubbornness. You know, not everyone can handle your fiery stubbornness. However, when I first met Nick, I knew he could. I took one look at him and I said, oh snap, now here's a man that can handle all of Veronica. <laughs> Nick, over the years, I have witnessed you navigate Veronica's fiery personality. I've seen you be brave and stand up to it, but I've also seen you learn when to give in a little. It's this balance of a little give and a little take that makes me think that you're perfect for Veronica. I unfortunately was not physically there when Veronica and Nick met for the very first time. But what I can say is that I know that the universe is fighting with the same Veronica level of stubbornness to make sure that your paths would cross. Because after all, it did take three attempts for them to finally meet and three attempts to finally get married. <laughs> so Nick and Veronica, not only does the universe have your back, but every single person in this room loves and supports you. I hope that you continue to choose each other and continue to apply the stubbornness to make your marriage work. I speak for all of us when I say it's a great joy that this day is finally here. And we're very excited for the beautiful future that this universe is going to give you. Nick, you're, you are the everything that I prayed to God and a partner to do life with. Little did I know that when I met you, this handsome tall man would be everything that I can't live without. Of course, I was attracted to those big muscles of yours <laughs> and that great smile. But every day the last seven years, I have fallen in love with you more and more. It's who you are as a friend, a brother, a son, and a partner. You are the hardest working person I know, and you work hard for everything you have in life. Your friendships, your family, yourself, and me. Even when spread thin, you find ways to fit and overcome everything life throws at you. You selflessly love, give, and care hard for those around you. You work towards not only making our lives better, but also the lives around you better. You are patient, but you are never afraid to challenge yourself, or me for that matter, when you need to. I admire you so much, and you inspire me day in and day out to be a better person. You're the most amazing human I know, 
and I am so excited to do the rest of life with you. I feel like the luckiest person to have met you, and I feel so blessed by God to be standing up here with you. You are the love of my life. You are my heart, my soulmate, my truest friend, and my best friend. I promise to stand next to you through all the challenges and through all the beautiful life throws at us. I promise to be your teammate through every decision and goal you set out for yourself and our family. I promise to be your sounding board, your rock, and to lift you when you need the encouragement. I promise to help you and be your number one supporter even when the Chargers are on a losing streak. Okay. <laughs> I do. I promise you that I will always work hard and I will never get complacent in everything we do for us and our family. I promise to hold you in the highest regard, but to remind you of your heart and continue to encourage you and lift you to be the best friend, son, husband, and father you can be in this life God has blessed us with. You are my person, and I will love you and cherish you forever and ever. I love you. You look so beautiful, babe. Do you wear that? It's a really nice dress. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel good. How are you? Freaking out. You're, you look so handsome. I love you. We stand under these olive trees, the perfect place to begin. In biblical times, olive branches were used to make the wreaths for the heads of young men and women at their weddings. The olive tree is a symbol of wisdom, peace, hope, fertility, and wealth. All the things we hope for you. It has been said that marriage is not a union merely between two individuals, it is a union between two souls. And the intention of that bond is to perfect the nature of both. Nick, Veronica, nothing is coincidence. You two did not randomly meet. Your life together was meant to be. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly, you will say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. When we first met seven years ago, all I knew and heard about you at the time is that you were beautiful, hardworking, a genuine person, and from my own experience, very difficult to convince to go on a date. <laughs> but there are times a charm. And with a little persistence on my end, we finally met. When we got to our seats at the Ducks game, I was so focused on you that I don't recall what was going on around us. We talked about our past, our families, shared jokes, and laughter. You were interested in everything I said to you. You listened, asked questions, and engaged with me the entire night. That opened my eyes that you were someone special. The more we shared, the more I wanted to know about you. I had no idea 
that we would be where we are today and that night I was meeting my future wife. During the time that we have spent together, we've always talked about how much we get along, how we say we were meant for each other. If we didn't meet the way that we had, how would we have met? Throughout all of our discussions, we always find a way to each other. In life, we meet a lot of people. You never know who the one will be. You can't plan for it, it just happens. Someone you can call a friend, someone you can love and respect, someone who's there for you at every turn, and someone who you can honestly say that you want to spend the rest of your life with. I don't know what I did right to be so lucky to have found that person in you. I'm so happy that this day is finally coming true. This is where we start our family. Another chapter begins in an already amazing story, and I feel extremely honored and blessed on becoming your husband today. And as your husband, I promise to put our needs before my own, to do everything I can to make sure we have a bright and exciting future together. I promise to encourage and support you. I want to help you achieve everything that you set your mind to. I promise to be patient and prioritize communication. I will always hear you out and share how I am feeling. Strong communication will continue to be a solid foundation in our relationship. I promise to keep giving you a kiss goodbye in the morning and telling you have a good day because when you don't, you'd let me know. I promise to not take our time together for granted. I will show you how much I love you and have faith in your love for me. Life has been and will continue to be a great adventure with you. You are simply the best. I love you, Veronica. I've been to uh, weddings, but it's different. It's my son. And this wedding is just amazing. Oh, the wedding party, uh, you guys are like the best friends. And to have that in life is huge. Uh, a big toast for Nick and Veronica. Yeah. I think this is the best day of my life. Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Veronica's youngest brother, uh, Josue. Well, what can I say? From uh, a younger day, Veronica is always the biggest role model to me. Nick, honestly, man, I see someone who's just like Veronica, always trying to better himself, always trying to be the best. I can't wait to see what the future has for you guys. May God bless you guys. Yeah! Cheers. Fun fact, I was actually their roommate at one point. I'm so happy that I was able to experience that and being able to live with Nick and Vettel. He became someone that I could just really look up to and someone that I am just so happy that my sister found because I really think he is perfect for her because it takes a lot for someone to be able to handle <laughs> Vettel. <laughs> but to Vettel, the perfect example of what a woman is, what a leader is, my big sister, my role model, my everything. I love you both and cheers to both of you. Ooh, got me falling off track. Sitting pretty when you look at me, you call out the facts. You and I, we put the music, it's all in the back. Got me singing, baby. Ooh, got me falling off track. everyone. Buenas noches a todos. Esto es una felicidad para mí tener este momento 
con toda mi familia y amigos que están alrededor de nosotros. Les agradezco a todos por estar con nosotros. This is a moment that I like to say thank you for being all here to have a big, big happiness around us. Verónica, te quiero mucho y espero que Dios te bendiga en tu matrimonio y que siempre te bendiga en todos los momentos de tu vida. I feel so happy for him and I feel happy for me and for my family. What else can I say? I'm so happy to see my daughter out there. Estoy muy feliz de ver a mi hija casada. Lo que trabajé para siempre y lo que hice mejor. Dios los bendiga. Seeing what we never seen, and we're being who we wanna be. 